The following transmission is based on a secluded storyline known as The Last Mission, written by username Snoopy7C7. The events of The Last Mission follow the stories of characters not yet seen by the public. This is highly classified information. Should you choose to continue to watch, you will experience the stress, intensity, and pressure that is put on the characters featured in this story. All characters featured in this transmission have full rights to their personas. This is merely a fragment of a story. Thank you. You weren't supposed to knock her out! I know what I was doing. The order was to bring her back. Willingly! I know her more than you do. She would have declined. I just took extra precautions. Hey look, she's waking up! Oh, oh good. Ooh, you're awake. So, this is the famous Agent Petals I've heard so much about. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. Famous is an understatement. Reckless suits much better if you ask me. I see you haven't changed much, Mr. Mind. That's Agent M to you. Calm down, rookie. Don't get your panties all in a twist. She's not an enemy. And take that mask off. You look like a buffoon. Uh, but sir, doesn't Section D say to conceal our identities at all times? <sighs> take it off. Okay. Hey, Tinerp, whatever this is, would you like to explain to me why you broke into my home, kidnapped me, and brought me back here? I'd like to apologize for the unnecessary set of action as to how you were brought back here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Agent Keys. I was a rookie under transfer at the Eastern Fork Front before coming to South Bay County soon after you left. I've been told many things about you and your legacy, and I assume you and Agent M already know each other. <laughs> Reckless rookie. Bossy mentor. Right, and this is our rookie in training, Flames. I've got the same as Petals. It is just an honor to actually be meeting you. I didn't actually mean to harm you, and I hope you can forgive me. I'd say the pleasure is all mine, but I haven't been given a proper explanation. <laughs> yeah, of course, all of your questions will be answered, but not here. We need to go see the chief first. A lot has changed since you've left. Wow, it's as if I haven't left the place. I wonder if the old gang is still around. Let's keep our focus on what's important and not skip through memory lane. And some things have remained the same. Not so sure it'll be fun to see Chief Sourpuss again. He's retired. Wanted to spend more time with the wife and kids. Oh. If he's not the chief anymore, then who? Good to see your return. Agent Ram Horns? In the flesh. <laughs> I'll bring it in, short stack. I've never seen Deputy Ram Horns smile like that. Yeah, well, don't get used to it, kid. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Now, let's get down to business. So, 
You're running the show now, huh? <laughs> oh, good old Pretzels. The only pony in this entire agency who could make me laugh. Now I'm rather content with being the deputy for the chief, but I think you'll appreciate the pick of the chief. Well, it's been a long time, old friend. I was surprised. You know, the things start busting right. Agent Splatter! <laughs> it's Chief Splat now. Look at you! You've grown! Yep. We're gonna have plenty of time to catch up. But right now, we've got bigger fish to fry. So, I'm sure you're wondering why we brought you back here. It would have been nice to have been given more formal notice. Normally, we would do so, but we couldn't wait any longer to get in touch with you. And also, postage is up. Getting to the point, Royal Wind is back. <gasps> Royal Wind. Royal Wind is public enemy number one of the secret organization of the South Bay Coast. But I thought we finished the job. The mission, the infiltration at Mount Hollow, we thought he was gone. That's what we thought too, but we couldn't be further from the truth. Royal Wind has been public enemy number one for years now. For us, there was only one other agent who got the best of him. We thought his reign was over after our encounter, but then we received this message one week ago. Chief, or deputy, or literally anyone back at HQ. This is Agent Fairytale. My cover has been compromised. I'm being searched for as I speak, and I'm not sure how long until they find us. Did you reach them yet? Can it, Rookie? You need to calm down, or you're gonna get us caught. This was my first field mission. I'm still a trainee. I, I'm not ready for this level of stress. Agent Patches, pull yourself together. We gotta get this information back to HQ. Yes! Send back up, please! We have just made a major discovery. All the evidence is here, and you're not going to believe who's behind everything. It's... Get these spies out of my sight. Make sure they're locked up good and tight. Clear the area. I will not be foiled this time. Now, when you enhance, and clear the image. He's alive. Uh, never thought I'd see that face again. Uh, two agents captured. Our longtime threat, assumed dead, is the face of the operation. What does this mean? We've been following a shady group for the past six months. They've been under a false name called the Stinger Funds. Supposed to be a charity foundation that goes from town to town, city to city, heck even land to land, raising charity money to build shelters for those in poverty and aid to sick children. Their promise, I assume? But some of the members in this support group are actually some of the world's most cunning, most skilled, but above all, most cynical creatures we've been trying to get for years. You've got the Black Eye, Bee, and Sunday, just to name a few. Naturally, we've been keeping a close eye on them all and done some digging. You know, somehow the Stinger Fund was somewhat connected to this supposed heart attack as we continued to infiltrate their expender. That's when we sent Agent Fairytale and her trainee to go undercover to get an inside scoop on the whole operation. Wait, these are blueprints to already made establishments. Like here, this is where Lake Trotto is in California. That's a protected landmark. They can't do that. True. 
but you know as well as anyone, when certain power falls into the wrong hooves, well, the world is within their grasp. And if they have the power to eradicate protected land, they have the power to do whatever they want, including control. Agent Petals, we need you to locate their hideout, infiltrate their database, gather the evidence needed to shut down their entire operation, and finally bring Royal Wind to an end, once and for all. I knew it. She isn't going to take up the mission. What makes you so confident I'm going to decline? Your hesitation. Any good agent knows that hesitation is a sign of doubt. And the latter part of doubt is picking the safe side. What's your point? You've lost your touch. We need the best for this mission, and judging by your hesitation, you're not the best. Not anymore, as if you ever were. So go on, go back to your sad little life. I'm sure you've got better things waiting for you back at home. That's enough, Em. No, no, the senior citizen is right. The what? What did you call me? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I should speak up for the old stallion. Bold talk, rookie. So mind repeating that back to me again? <laughs> Is your hearing starting to catch up with you, old man? Listen, mate, I know my place. What's yours? Petals, you're one of the only other agents who has ever come close to bringing Royal Wind to justice. We need you. Well, I might as well finish the job. <laughs> Am I right? Where do I begin? Chief Splat, he's here. Ah, perfect. Have him wait in the court area, room side A. His partner should be arriving within the next couple of hours. Welcome back, Agent. <laughs> 